uh, abortion. Yeah, let's do it. Um, fuck it, let's do it. Uh, I've been waiting to do this one for a while. Uh, fuck it, now's the time. We're just gonna skip right to it. Um, I'm glad that my mother uh, did not abort me. Uh, it was a possibility, I think. Thank you. Uh, her birthday, January 17th, she would have been 70. So happy birthday, mom. She passed when I was 14. She said, don't quit doing what you love. Always do what you love. Don't quit. Treat other people how you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. They said she'd only live till she was 20. She'd never have kids. She had me. That was a risk. She could have died. She had heart issues. Second youngest baby ever operated on at Harvard Medical Center. True story in Boston. Open heart surgery. Four times she had open heart surgery. She lived till she was 45. I just turned 40, so I've been thinking about mortality a lot. Um, and abortion, uh, because I think women have a right to choose. I, I can't imagine if my mother had the stress of not being able to think about maybe aborting me. Back then, I'm sure, you know, she thought about it. I would've. If my, do I really wanna fucking die for this kid? He might be a shithead. Um, luckily, I am not, um, but uh, that's up for debate. But um, I still have the, you know, most people, I'm a Jew, like I said, they hate the nagging Jewish mother. What are you doing? And why aren't you married yet? Blah, 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 blah. See, I'm lucky I don't have to deal with that. Most people think, the truth is, I'm very spiritual. I hear her voice constantly nagging. Sometimes I'm like, Mom, I'm, I'm trying to masturbate here. Like, just stop, please. Please, I love you. Stop. I understand. Yes, I know. I need to fucking get my life together. Yes, just let me just rub one out, please, for the love of God. Like, I'm going to light some sage. Just fucking clean out the energy here. Just let me... I need to just zen out, please. But, um, yeah, they have all these COVID testing clinics now. I, I think abortion clinics should be the new, like, hot thing. There's, like, boutique COVID things. They make us test for all the shows, for SAG, SAG After. We have to test. Disney makes you test. Fox. They test you, test you, test you. I had more penetration in my nostrils than I've penetrated anything else in the past three years. By far. Like, by far. It's like a college frat house in my nose of penetration. Um, yeah, it's a lot. My nose, I literally got sores from all the fucking Q-tips going up there. Just like fucking little cuts here in the edge of my nostrils. Thank you, Disney. Torturous. But yeah, it, I, I think a borscht, Borshi Borsh is what I want to call the clinics. Borshi Borsh. So you drive up, it's drive up. We, I'm, I'm Polish, Eastern European Jew, makes really good borscht in the family. So you drive up, you get a borscht while you wait for your borscht. And, and, and we call it abortion just so it's like, you know, abortion sounds so, you know, aborty. So we call it borshin, borshies, just borscht. Hey, what up, borshi? Yo, you're in for a borshi and a borscht? All right, come on in. Um, just chill, just keep it chill. These ladies want to keep it chill, discreet. Um, if the guys, there's abortion ballroom for the guys. There's like billiards, borscht, and, and abortions. So whatever you want, um, any, we're, and we, we're gonna have like a speakeasy side too, where it's like, uh, if you're into it, like do your own borscht. Um, it's cheaper, but you have to clean everything up. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, also, thank you. Uh, I also, I, I, I think that it's important for women to, you know, have a choice. Um, healthy competition in the abortion game. Planned Parenthood shouldn't have a monopoly on the shit. Um, you know, I think, I think that's only fair. Also, uh, uh, if you want to uh, get eggs there, you can get eggs too. Uh, you can drop your eggs off. We do a whole embryo frozen freezer borscht, freezer eggs. I don't know. Just, just a thought. I just know that the market's coming and, and California's pretty chill, so we're on top of that COVID game. Um, yeah, that's all. I just, uh, let me see if there's anything else fancy before I go. Um, hmm. No, I think I covered pretty much all of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, hopefully I'll get laid soon. It's, that's, it's, it needs to happen. Jesus Christ. It's been a while. Fucking dating apps, man. It's, it's a terrible thing. I don't want to pay for them because if I don't, I'm not in, it's like worse than prostitution in there. It's like I'm paying to maybe meet somebody. Prostitution, you know, I'm getting laid and I know what I'm paying for, bam, wham, bam, and done. I'm not wham, bam, but hopefully a few minutes. 
want to get my money's worth. Thank you guys. My name is Evan Shaffer and I appreciate you. Have